The Satan is God's most important angel. His job is to test us, to intensify our free choice, and thereby allow us, allow us to have greater reward. He's the only angel that's happy when we don't listen to him. Most angels are happy when we listen and we follow what they're telling us. The Satan doesn't want us to listen. He doesn't want us to fail. But his job is to test us so that the reward we receive will be even greater. That's the Nachash. That's the Satan. Now, I'll tell you something. In Christianity, the Satan is viewed as an angel who fell from grace. An angel who rebelled against God. He rebelled against God and he started an evil sort of counter kingdom to God. That's what Christianity believes. And in order to defeat the Satan, there's only one way to do it. You have to believe in Yashka. That's what they believe. The only way you're going to overcome the Satan is if you believe and you accept Yashka. If not, you are going to... Right. I don't mean you personally. Don't be. I mean, I, I just you. Right. That, that, you know. That's the belief. Now I'll tell you. You know. I'll tell you something. Now listen to, very carefully to this. What I'm telling you. What number in the secular world, in the Christian world, is considered to be a cursed number? Six. Six. Good. And what other number? Thirteen. 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 Let's start with thirteen. Friday the thirteenth. Let me ask you a question. In Judaism, what number perhaps is our most beloved number? Seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. When do we take a little boy and bar mitzvah him? Thirteen. How many attributes does God have? Thirteen. Yud Gimel Midos of Hashem. Thirteen Midos of Hashem. We love the number thirteen. Now, I'll tell you why we love the number thirteen so much. Because the word Echad, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, listen to Israel, Hashem is our God, Hashem Echad, Hashem you are one. If I, take the, if I take the word echad, the aleph is one, the chet is eight, the dalet is four, what's the gematria? Thirteen, true. Now what's special about the number thirteen? You know what's special about number thirteen? Anything in the physical world, listen carefully, this is a little bit deep. Any, everything in the physical world, you'll notice, has how many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the space that it contains is called the thirteenth. Thirteen for us represents all points, the complete unity of creation. And that's why Echad is Gematria of thirteen. And that's why, by the way, the word Ahava, which means love, Aleph is one, He is. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny, here's Johnny, here's Johnny.